It's been one year now since George Floyd's death sparked outrage and concern across our nation. Tonight, KCAU 9 News reporter Mallory Smith takes a look at what's changed in both our police departments here and the community in our top story at 10. Mallory? George Floyd's passing sparked controversy, and the video of his death was played out on national TV, sparking outrage. But 365 days later, both our nation and the Siouxland community continues the fight for equality and police reform. Say his name. George Floyd. Exactly one year ago today, George Floyd was murdered on the streets of Minneapolis. Just days later, cities across the country began filling with protesters, fighting for police reform and equality within communities. That was the turning point. People finally had enough. Protests erupted in at least 140 cities across the U.S. The National Guard was called in and at least 21 states. In many places, activists continue the fight. And the Sioux City Police Department says they are constantly and actively seeking ways to improve their policies and policing procedures. We can certainly see from what happened the frustration that citizens had with seeing that video. Uh, it was a horrific video. It's hard to watch. Uh, and a lot of times people don't know where to channel that energy. Monique Scarlett is the founder of Unity in the Community. She says she's seen the youth in Siouxland become inspired by the events nationwide, taking an active role. The one thing that stuck out to me or stood out was um, our young people became involved. Um, they no longer wanted to sit back. They actually got out in the streets with their signs very vocal about how they felt. And overall, she's noticed a difference in the way neighbors treat each other. Seeing people um, hold each other to be more accountable. I've seen more transparency. I've seen communities come together um, out of frustration, but yet out of concern. Chief Mueller wants to make note how much they value the community's thoughts and ideas on improving police relations. Departments like ours honestly uh, and openly seek input from citizens. We have forums, we invite people in, we try to get uh, what their concerns are so that we can just uh, adjust our department to fit them, to, to address their concerns, to have that open dialogue. As we are hopefully coming out of this pandemic, our hope is that we can re-engage the people that might have been impacted by what happened in Minneapolis, re-establish trust. In Washington, D.C. today, several members of Floyd's family, including Floyd's daughter, Gianna, met with President Joe Biden and other lawmakers. Meanwhile, the George Floyd Justice and Policing Act remains stalled in the Senate tonight. Mallory Smith, KCAU 9 News.